Hello, and welcome to a short video about how to manage designer report folders, copy and upload in the CMS 19.2 web client. With CMS 19.2, dependence on Flash was removed from the web client. Also, new functionality was added to help manage designer reports. So this video assumes that you have some general knowledge of CMS designer reports. We will review the new designer report folder hierarchy and the new copy and upload functionality in the web client. Required versions of CMS where the web client does not depend on Flash is CMS 19.2, the original GA load, plus a patch that was released on May 14th, 2021. Let's begin our example of the new designer report folder hierarchy and also how to copy and upload reports. What you'll notice in 19.2 is now you can have several levels of subfolders for designer reports. If I go to the main designer folder, I see I have a, a report there, an aux monthly, my copy. I can also then go to a folder below it I've created, level one. It also has a copy of a report and it has a subfolder. When I go to the level two test folder, it also has a copy of a report I placed there. So these are all designer reports you can see the nested levels of the reports. So each level can have reports and subfolders. So how do you create these subfolders and how do you get reports in there? Well, let's start by looking at making a copy of an existing report. So here I am looking at all of the standard agent reports. Let's look at agent login and log out and let's say I'd like to make my own copy of the agent login and logout report. I click on the three dots and copy. So you'll notice that I can either save this report to device or I can save the report. And, and I can do both. So first I'm gonna save the report to device because I'd like to download a copy onto my laptop. But also, I'd like to save a copy of this report for my own use. Here in the Save Report menu is where I can add, delete, and manage my designer report folders. You cannot change the highest level of the designer report, but you can, folder, the folder, but you can manage these subfolders. Notice when I click on the level one test folder, I can delete it, I can add more folders, I can rename it. If I expand it, I see my level two test folder and I can see that there, what is in each folder. I can see at the level two, I already have a call profile report. Let's collapse that. At the level one, I have the level two folder and my monthly report. But let's say I'd like to create a third level of folders and place my login logout report there. I highlight the level two, I click add folder, and now I can add a level three, my folder. Click yes, and there it is. Now I can click on the level three, my folder, and the login logout skill, my copy report will be placed in that folder by clicking save report. So the report save was successful. So now I come back here and I expand my folders, clicking each and look, there's the level three, my folder, and there's my login logout skill, that report of, that I made a copy of. At this point, since it is a designer report, I can remove it, um, copy it further or edit it. To edit the reports, please see the designer report migration video, which goes into a little bit more about how you can edit the layout only of the reports. So now let's cover upload. 
Let's say I want to upload a report. When I click upload, I have to choose the file I want to upload. So what I'm going to do is actually upload a copy of that login logout report I saved just a few minutes ago to my local drive. So there it is, the logout, login logout skill. But this time, instead of putting it all the way down here in level three, where you can see it right there, I'm gonna put it up here at the level two, and I'm gonna ca call it login logout report my copy level two, and I'm going to save the report. So there, I've uploaded a report, and now when I go to the level two test folder, I can see it. There is the logout, login logout report that I called my copy level two. And remember, down here at level three is also a copy of login logout that I put under the level three folder. So now you can see how you can have multiple copies of, of a report in different folders. And the way that you manage the refolders is when you either go to the upload menu or the copy menu. By going into the copy menu for any report, you can manipulate your design report folders, adding, deleting, managing them, changing the names. And all those changes to the folders take effect. And you don't actually have to then save the report. You can just go back without making any changes to actually saving or copying the report. But you've used that save report menu to manage your designer folder titles and hierarchy. So that concludes this example. Thank you. As a final thought, I'd like to leave you with this tip. If at any time you don't think your web browser looks right for your uploaded or copied reports, or you don't see your report in the designer folder um, or any name changes on the folders, just refresh your browser screen. There should be no problems. However, as I said, if things don't look quite right, refresh your browser screen and that should take care of any inconsistencies. This concludes the presentation. Thank you for watching. You can send feedback via email to mentor at avaya.com or visit us on Twitter or watch many of the other Avaya Mentor videos on YouTube. For more details and other technical information on the CMS product, please visit support.avaya.com.